the sketch shows the graph of y equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8. Find the coordinates of A and B. Find the coordinates of A and B. So step 1, to find the coordinates of A and B, we need to identify the name of this equation. So this equation is y equal to 0. X axis always it's y equal to 0. So we are going to solve the zeros of this function by replacing y is y with 0 so that we can solve for x. So now this equation will be y equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8 but y equal to 0. So where there is y we are going to replace 0 which is going to be x squared minus 2x minus 8 equal to 0. So this is now the quadratic equation. So at this stage we need to apply product sum factor PSF where the product is obtained by multiplying the coefficient of x squared to negative 8 which is going to be negative 8 because the x its coefficient is 1 so 1 times negative 8 we are getting negative 8 then sum it's negative 2 then factors we need to look for two numbers that we can multiply that gives 8 or negative 8 when we add or subtract they should give us negative 2 as sum so the two numbers are going to be 2 comma 4 because we know that when we multiply 2 to 4 we are getting 8 and when we subtract 2 from 4 we are getting 2 now we need negative 8 and negative 2 so between 2 and 4 1 should be negative now what determines where the negative will be is the sum since sum here is negative so it corrected the sign from the bigger number which is 4 so 4 should be negative after finding the factors we are going to rewrite the equation so it will be x squared we have to remove where there is negative 2x and replace it, the factors so plus 2x minus 4x minus 8 equal to 0 then we group So now we have to factorize what is common. So in the first bracket we have x. So x out will remain with the x into x squared. It's x. Then x into 2x. It's positive 2. Minus c. The common factor here is 4. So 4 out will remain with the x. Then negative 4 into negative 8. It's positive. Positive 2 equal to 0 so now we need to group the factors so x minus 4 then x plus 2 which is equal to 0 at this stage we have to equate each factor to 0 or each expression to 0 so x minus e 4 equal to 0 or x plus 2 equal to 0. Since we are solving for x, so we need to take negative 4 to 0, which will become positive. So x equal to 
plus 4 or x equal to negative 2. So these are the zeros of x. Now we are looking for the coordinates of a and b. So the negative value will go with e, point a, the positive value will go with point b. Therefore, coordinate a is going to be negative 2, comma, 0. And coordinate b is going to be 4, comma, 0. So this is how you should find the coordinates when you are given. Let's go now to question B. The minimum value, the minimum point on the graph. The minimum point on the graph is the question. Part B. So now to find the minimum value, we have to get the original function, which is y equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8. So now in this original function, we have to find the symmetrical equation, which demarcates the curve into two equal parts. So symmetrical equation should pass somewhere here. So we need to know this equation. So now to know the equation, the symmetric equation, we are going to apply this formula. X equal to negative B over 2A. So that's the formula you should apply whenever asked to find the symmetric equation or, that, or the line that demarcates the curve into two equal parts. So this one will be A, B, C. So x equal to negative b, where there is b, we are going to replace the coefficient of negative 2x, which is negative 2, over 2, coefficient of x squared, it's 1, so x equal to negative times negative, it's positive 2, then 2 times 1, it's 2. So x equal to 1. So this is the value of x, which is the symmetrical equation. After having the symmetrical equation, we have to replace this value of x into the original function where there is x, so that we can solve now the value of y. So y equal to question mark x equal to 1. So y equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8. So now we need to replace where there is x with 1. So y equal to 1 to the power 2 minus 2, open bracket 1, minus 8. So y equal to 1 squared, it's 1. Negative 2 times 1, it's negative 2, minus 8. So y equal to 1 minus 2, it's negative 1, minus 8. So y equal to negative 9. So this is the minimum value. The minimum value of y. So if the question requires you to find the turning point, it is just the method of getting 1 and negative 9 as your turning point. Now, this question needs the minimum point on the graph.
minimum point on the graph so point it is the turning point yes so now we are going to conclude therefore the turning point is going to be 1 comma negative 9 Thank you for watching. This is Mr. Mringa E. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also to share the video.